Dumalam, good day. I'm Lieutenant General Debo Komasire, and I'm the chairman of the board of the Botswana Stock Exchange. Botswana Stock Exchange role is to operate the securities market in Botswana by providing a gateway for raising capital and accessing investment opportunities. The BSC started way back in 1989 when the exchange was an informal share market. Today, the exchange has grown in leaps and bounds and was demutualized and awarded self-regulatory organization SRO status in 2018. Our vision is to be a world-class securities exchange, delivering innovative products and services. We currently have 30 listed equities, 46 bonds, five exchange-traded funds, EFTs, and we'll soon be issuing global depository receipts. My name is Tapel Tole. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Botswana Store Exchange. The BSC is currently at the end of its strategic planning period. That started in 2017 and it's ending in 2021. And therefore, this basically means we'll be getting into the strategic planning for 2022 to 2026. But in the current ending strategy, one of the things that we wanted to achieve was to increase the market capitalization ratio to a gross domestic product GDP of Botswana to about 40% of GDP. And I think we have done relatively well in that regard. The other thing that we wanted to do also was to increase the number of domestic companies uh, to reach 30 from about 23, 24 in 2017. Also, we wanted to increase the number of foreign listed companies in Botswana to about 15 and the number of instruments to six from currently three, but I think this we managed to achieve because we have exchange traded funds. We also wanted to bring forward depository receipts and more diversified exchange traded funds. The other thing is we wanted to increase the investor base to reach 100,000 by the end of 2021. And I think we are just nearing that at about 90,000 or 99,000 currently. So we're hoping by the end of the strategic plan 2021, we should be at 100,000. And most importantly, also to maintain the, the investor profile that we have, to continue having 40 to 56 percent of our investors being participants, because this is good for the market. In terms of our internationalization strategy, our footprints, BSC is currently the secretariat for Committee of SAREC Stock Exchanges, which is made of 14 stock exchanges in SAREC region. And also, I'm currently the vice president of African Securities Exchange Association, ASEA. We are also an affiliate member of the World Federation of Exchanges. We are a partner exchange in United Nations Sustainable Stock Exchanges. And we are also one of the three store exchanges in Africa recognized by Her Majesty Revenues Customs of the UK. And uh, our central security depository is a member of AMIDA. The reason why we affiliate or belong to these several international organizations is because as a stock exchange, we need to uh, confirm or adhere to international standards. Uh, we want to adhere to international practice that are globally accepted and therefore that's why we, we belong to these various international memberships. When you look at the aspect of technology, the BSC is much more also a technology-driven uh, stock exchange. We have got a, a state-of-art automated trading system, a central security depository system that is Thomas Murray rated. Uh, these are international ratings for security exchanges. We have got data displays uh, in two locations around town, and the intention is to increase this data displays uh, across, across the country. We also launched a new website and mobile application late last year and uh, our website and mobile application are actually very modern. And we are now in the process of getting a, a stock market simulator, which will just be a, a simulator of what happens in the stock market for people who want to practice how the stock market works before they finally come to the market. And our hope is that I think over and above financial literacy, we think this is going to be a, an added service to potential investors uh, in our market.
There are a number of reasons why Botswana is considered one of the best places to raise capital. First reason is that the country has large pools of capital, especially from uh, pension funds, which have been built over, over the years. Uh, further, there are no exchange controls in Botswana, and therefore as an investor, you can take your money in and out at any particular point in time. And this is also supported by a, a fully convertible uh, local currency, being the Pula, which can be converted to any other international uh, uh, currencies without, without any hassle. And the stability in terms of the economy, for several years now, Botswana economy has always been very stable, and this is what investors really want to put their money in. And also, the BSC is just a world-class exchange. I mean, we, we, our services, our products, our regulation, and the way we do things is based on international best practices. We generally have about three main boards. We have the main board, where that is where majority of bigger companies, much more mature companies, list. And we also have the venture capital board, which is basically for startup companies. It doesn't necessarily have a history in operation. They can come to the market to raise capital, which is basically some startup capital. But also we launched the what we call the TPD SME board. TPD is a, a local name, basically refers to something which is still at infancy level that is still growing. And we launched this board two years ago with the aim to attract and to list some small, medium enterprises or also to build companies that have got the appetite to list and raise capital in the market. Accompanied by the TPD SME board, we've got a mentorship program where we look at some of the small medium enterprises in the economy. We mentor them through how to become a listed company, how to uh, corporatize yourself to change it from an SME to a listed entity. And I think we are, we are generally achieving, achieving that. In terms of investment opportunities in, 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 in the BSC, there are currently about three types of instruments. We've got shares, and among shares, we also have variable loan stock, which is like real estate investment trust. It's, it's operated as the same structure. We also have fixed income instruments, uh, commonly referred to as bonds. And we also have about five exchange traded funds uh, some of them are in the typical structure of a note. Some follow uh, certain commodities like gold and platinum. In terms of our activities, as the exchange, we continue to grow. We conduct monthly opening bells, and the opening bells are geared towards sensitizing the general populace uh, in order for them to understand about stock market. We have partnered with the likes of CNBC and Bloomberg to reach out to the international community. And we also have open days, which we hold throughout the country. Uh, free of charge to educate the locals about uh, investment in the stock market. There's a publication that we produce on a quarterly basis called the BSC News that contains a lot of information about our, about our market. And also the one aspect that we are very strong on is on school-going kids or school-going children. We have a high school competition that we hold almost every year where we, we group together a number of students across uh, secondary schools in Botswana and then they compete on various topics on stock market and then those who win they, they get a portfolio of shares which they own for some time and then they can manage that own portfolio of, of theirs. Mm -hmm.